Um, you said, I know a lot of people who are mixed race or have mix of races have, have a lot of, um, well, they had a lot of complex issues growing up, mm. especially in school, because I think in certain schools in London, did you grow up in London? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was tough for some people, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you, did you find that for yourself <clears throat> as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, yeah, growing up, I didn't, I knew I was Irish, didn't know where my dad, like my dad's name's Krishna. Like, didn't really know where, you know, that side came from. It wasn't really spoken about, yeah. um, which led to a lot of confusion. Um, as an adult now, like, I completely understand why, because he didn't have the best upbringing. Mm. He had a very, like, he's a very good man. And um, he didn't have what most of us have, what, at least one parent that's loving, got your back. He didn't have that. And um, so there was a lot of, like, my granddad came over on the Windrush generation. He came over to work. Like, he was, like, an electrician and did the towers and stuff. Wow. And when he came over here, he got beaten up by, not the skinners, like, the biker boys that listened to Scar, wow. but a racist. I don't know what they're called, the hell boys. Or there's something like that. Yeah. Um, and that left him quite traumatised. Um, but it never was really because obviously it was a very traumatic situation. It was only till I was a bit older that I was like, no, seriously, why do I look like this? Mm. Why does, at the time, why does my eyebrow connect? Why do I have these certain features? And, you know, you know, why do I have tan skin and green eyes and jet black hair? What is that? I don't, cause I don't look like my white side, yeah. but I look like you dad. Mm. Um, so I kind of, you know, opened up and started learning more and embracing who I was. Yeah. Um, in school a lot. Yeah, I remember a situation um, where a girl was adamant. I said I was from Ghana. Mm. 100% adamant. And this is like, she can't bring it up 10 years later. I said, um, no, I said I'm Guyanan. It's very similar. People do mishear it. Yeah. Um, I said, no, 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 I'm Guyanan. Maybe when I was 13, I may have slipped of the tongue and said it, but no, like, I am from Guyana, yeah. Guyanan. Um, and it's like, even that, so what's the issue? It what is the issue if I did slip of a tongue or you slipped of a tongue? And like, what is the issue? Why does it bother you where I'm from? And that's why I got a lot in school. Oh, right, I see. Yeah. She wants to be this, <laughs> she wants to be that. And it's like, no, 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 but... I look, I, may, I mainly get Spanish or Turkish. I do get that a lot. Mm. It's like, well, no, actually, I'm Irish Guyanese. Um, so I come from both immigrant side of the family. Yeah. Um, so it's a different, you know, that horrible saying, no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. Mm. And there was a lot of Irish and Caribbeans that gravitated towards each other in those times. Um, of course, you can't compare the two um, at yeah. all. Um, but yeah, I did, I did get a lot of, yeah, a lot of weird stuff and it tied in with my health because I'm like, mm. you lot are getting on to me about my skin colour, telling me that I'm so basically you think I'm lying about where I'm from, lying about my disability, horrible, absolutely horrible. I imagine, yeah. Um, and I, she's still my friend to this day, well two of them, Megan who is Irish Caribbean, so we clicked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my friend M, they still my friends to this day, and the only two people that I hold high from the school, yeah. um, and will always have time for because they stood on their own. They weren't sheep, like even yeah. teachers at school. I had a teacher dislocate my shoulder. Jesus, how did that happen? She dragged me back. I was leaving, so I would do half days, but apparently I was bunking to all the girls, and that's where hiding my disability came from. Yeah, I can, I can Because imagine. it's like, what the fuck? And even the teachers, you're not helping, you're meant to be helping. Mm. Like my mum really fought hard for me in that school. Um, I have nothing but negative things to say <laughs> about them, but that, that could be another time. But um, <laughs> it was very traumatic, very traumatic experience. Was, was there some backlash with the teacher? Did you want did oh, anything yeah, happen yeah. with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, um, yeah, we, we did a few things there. <laughs> um, but then I'm like, I can't bother. 
Yeah. It's done now. Let me move on to the next thing. Yeah. Um, but that's what, I think that's what makes me more selfless and more want to help because you don't know what someone's going through. You don't, you know, some, a lot of my friends always go, I don't want to come to you with the problems. Well, they used to, because I made clear, come to me. Because, um, you know, you go through so much and it sounds so silly. And I'm like, no, no, no. Whatever you're going through is a lot for you. So talk to me if I can help. Because no matter who I talk to, I'm not going to get no help. Yeah. But if I can help in an emotional situation, a relationship, whatever I can do, I'll do. Um, and it kind of is like... I'm a good friend and I'll always be there for anybody and I've got good friends as well and a good-ish support system. Um, but it's it, accepting that no one will get it, ever. Mm. So, mm. lonely. <laughs> it's fucking lonely. <clears throat>